It's an exciting time of year for the Edmonton Oilers. It's also an exciting time of year for the Edmonton Oil Kings. And what better guy to talk to about that than Edmonton Oil Kings head coach Steve Hamilton. Steve, thanks for doing this. Uh, always good to chat with you as well. Um, you've had some experience coaching guys that at this time of year were very nervous, very excited. A, because they were winning championships and B, because they're about to get drafted. Take us through some of the history with the Oil Kings and high draft picks and success. Yeah, we've, we've been very fortunate, you know, in the way our cycle worked out. We, uh, we had a lot of great talented guys come together at the same time. And you look at Curtis Lazar, Henrik Samuelson, Griffin Reinhardt, all first round picks. And at that time we were playing late into the season, Memorial Cups, League Finals, and then they transitioned right away from that team element. And within days we're off to the NHL Combine. And, I think they sort of transition into then their support group, their agents, their training naturally, you know, naturally and then they get into uh, that exciting time, which is the draft, and, and certainly for those three guys, to, to name a few, have been highly successful. Yes, they have. We've seen that in recent years. Now, you mentioned support groups. Uh, you would imagine coaches are part of that support group. I know you were an assistant during the Memorial Cup run, but you're now the head coach. Uh, what do you try to do uh, to provide support to those guys as you, I guess, send them off for lack of a better term? Well, I think through the year, you, you know, the focus is on your team and uh, clearly those guys would be well known and, and watched throughout the year. And, you know, I think the, the, the one of the biggest pieces as a coach in junior hockey is managing uh, things that are outside your players' control, you know, and, and for them, Things like the rankings and the talk and the chatter about where will they go. and I mean, human nature dictates that you, you can't let that thing, you can't just let that roll off you. It right. certainly is, is a factor, and I think those players uh, in particular handled it particularly well and um, let their, most important thing is that they let their play on ice do, this, do the talking for them, and then teams are going to make their decisions, their evaluations. Those are, at that point, outside the player's control. Steve, we talk about... Uh, Oilers rookie camp and, and, and development camps. What's it like on the Oil Kings side? Because you're not getting guys that are 18, 19 years old. You're getting 14, 15 year old kids that are, you know, are in their first year of high school. What's that like for you guys? And, and what's it like from what you see from them when they come into a, a WHL team? Yeah, it's a, uh, well, I guess it's just breaking the ice more than anything else is, is giving them an opportunity to get familiar with the organization, get a sense of what we're all about. Um, their first fall camp, they're, they're not eligible to play. They're, they have to go back to Midget for a year. So there's, we, it's kind of a grace period, an opportunity for them to, to get some seasoning. That initial development camp, uh, you can see such a, a noticeable difference with, with the second year guys. As they come back, confidence is completely different. They're not in awe. But I will say uh, we did have, a, we were very fortunate that we were able to take the guys to Roger's place uh, ah, on a yes. tour. So uh, I think everybody was in awe, regardless of age. Now that's something, uh, I, you know what, I, that place is going to be amazing. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Uh, let's talk about your season this last year. 15-16, you guys went 29-36, 6-1, had the play-in for the playoffs against Medicine Hat. Of course, beat them. Uh, you lose to the eventual WHL champions. You beat them at home on in the first two games of that series. How would you describe the season that you guys have had? Well, we're certainly in a transitional phase with the, with the Oil Kings. I think the youth movement is, is on. And, um, you know, we did have some older guys this year and uh, some pretty key spots in our lineup. And, you know, we felt like uh, we wanted to give ourselves every opportunity to get into the playoffs. Uh, you know, we had our struggles at times with some scoring and things like that. But, um, you know, there was a real commitment to get those younger guys involved. They're going to be our future. We needed to invest in them. Uh, to make the playoffs was a, as roundabout a way as we did it, you know, with you the play. We the did end. it. We yeah. did it. You know, 0-6 against Medicine Hat through the year. Uh, we go down to Medicine Hat for the play-in game and, uh, you know, found a way. And it was, I think that momentum just sort of carried over into Brandon. Uh, Brandon's a good team. And, yep, and you know, they were, they were building for this year big part of their uh, uh, their core was in that 19 20 year old age group so you know we gave them a great run um, you know felt like uh, as a team we took her where we where we want to do we want to be hard to play against um, you know the better team probably came out on top finally I want to ask you about Rogers place because we all know the Oilers are going there but 
So are the Oil Kings. What does that mean to your organization, and what do you think it's going to be like for you guys? No, it's a. Uh it's hard to describe. I, I've now seen it a couple times and uh, at various stages have gone through our dressing room and, and just the fact that the organization has, uh, you know, looked after the Oil Kings as well as they have year after year. It's, uh, it's an outstanding Western Hockey League organization and they have the full support of the, the Oilers group. And to be able to go to, to Rogers, I mean, from a recruiting standpoint, I'd say it's a plus. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of the better uh, better barns in the Western Hockey League. <laughs> so. That might be an understatement. I don't know. Uh, Steve, always great catching up with you. Look forward to seeing what you and Ryan Marsh and the staff have in store in 16-17. Thanks for doing this. Um, always my pleasure. Thanks, Tom.